from classical to quantum, a mind shift. Classical mechanics, developed by Sir Isaac Newton in the 17th century, provides a comprehensive description of the motion of macroscopic objects. It is based on three fundamental laws of motion and the law of universal gravitation. In this framework, if we know the initial position and momentum of a particle, we can predict its future motion precisely. This determinism underlies much of classical physics, from celestial mechanics to everyday engineering. Time and space are treated as absolute, and measurements are assumed to have no effect on the system being observed. However, as scientists explored the microscopic world, cracks began to appear. Experiments like blackbody radiation, the photoelectric effect, and atomic spectra revealed results that classical theory couldn't explain. In response, a new framework began to emerge quantum mechanics. In this new world, energy was no longer continuous but quantized, as Max Planck suggested. Einstein proposed that light consists of discrete packets called photons. Niels Bohr introduced quantized orbits for electrons in atoms. The deterministic paths of classical particles gave way to wave functions, governed by the Schrodinger equation, which only provide the probability of finding a particle in a certain state. Here, the rules were fundamentally different. A particle could exist in superposition, occupying multiple states at once. According to Heisenberg's uncertainty principle, one could not precisely know both a particle's position and momentum. And with entanglement, measuring one particle instantly affected its entangled partner, regardless of distance, something entirely foreign to classical physics. Thus, classical mechanics remained valid for large, everyday systems, while quantum mechanics became essential for understanding atomic and subatomic phenomena, forming the basis for technologies like lasers, transistors, and quantum computing. The journey from classical to quantum mechanics wasn't just a shift in equations, it was a profound change in how we understand the nature of reality.